After product assignment, next step is layout estimating. This section introduces the steps on how to generate accurate estimate on material usage, such as linear length, square footage, boxes of tiles, etc. How to manipulate seam layout for roll goods, like carpet and vinyl. Click on Estimation ribbon. In the pop-up window, it shows a list of items that are currently assigned to the rooms of this project. For commercial edition, checkbox estimate by layer controls if product usages are calculated and separated by floor tab. Click on OK button. The program automatically calculates all product usages and does the seam layout. On the right main diagram window, rooms with row goods are laid out with seams. Now, left-hand panel switches from Product Services to Estimating Panel. Under the Estimating Panel, Usage Quantities, Linear Footage, and Number of Tile Counts, Waste Ratios, etc. are listed. Drag on the right edge of the panel to adjust its size. Also, scroll to find all columns. Each column title can be dragged and be relocated into any order convenient to reviewing the estimating data. When clicking on any item on the list, rooms with that item assigned are highlighted in the diagram window. Also, at the same time, the lower panel below shows a list of room labels with this item being assigned. As a cross-reference, scroll to the panel to see estimating data on each room. Navigate through the list so as to review if they match with a project spec. Under Estimation ribbon, commands are grouped by functional tabs. On the left part, Estimation tab contains estimating commands. Mouse over one to see its tips, or hit the F1 key to see details in the user guide. With this Auto Layout button, the program compares two layout direction results for row good items and selects layout with maximum waste at project level. Click Horizontal Layout button to layout seam in horizontal direction, or use the Vertical button for vertical layout direction for row goods. Next, the Option tab has commands to set layout direction by wall segment, toggle button to control automatic re-estimating when change is made, clear estimating data command, and estimate by layer status box, which we will revisit later. The Seam tab contains commands to add link seams, across seams, and to delete seams. Seams tool tab contains commands to switch seam to other side of room, switch layout direction, or lock seam locations on selected rooms. Under the Dividing and Stairway tab, dividing commands are advanced too for dividing an open area into different regions that a seams can be manipulated independently. Set steps per cut is to control how many steps is to be covered by one cut on the selected stairway. Zoom and View tabs are similar to the Takeoff ribbon. Provided under View Option pull-down, one can control estimating related views such as Cut Sheet, Cut Label, Size Display, Cut Overlay on Diagram, and you can also show the product schedule with a diagram.